Hi guys and welcome to this second part of um, Simple Temperature Converter in Visual Basic 2010 Express. Now in the last uh, video, part one, I just went over the designing of the form, starting a new project in Visual Basic 2010 Express, and um, doing just some simple code that um, converts from, I think it was Celsius to Fahrenheit, but it only converted um, one way, okay? We're going to improve that in this second part so that it goes, you know, from Celsius to Fahrenheit and then back again. So open up your project. Um, if you don't have a project already, um, I advise that you watch part one. The link will be in the description. Um, and in part one, we created our design here and we also uh, wrote this line of code here, which goes from text box one. So that would be Celsius. Um, to text box 2, which is Fahrenheit. So it looks like that converts from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay, so that it can convert both ways. Um, so to do that, we're just going to remove this line of code here, and we're going to completely change the design of, of our software application. So first we're going to declare a couple of variables. So we are going to write dim, Celsius as string. We're going to also write dim answer as string. And we're going to write dim Fahrenheit as string. Um, so what we've done here is declared our three variables, Celsius, answer, and Fahrenheit. Um, there's green squiggly lines under them because if we look down here, we have some unused local variables and we have three of them. We're going to use those variables in just a second. What we're going to then um, type in is Celsius equals, and we want Celsius to equal um, our text box. Okay, so we find the Celsius text box here. Uh, we scroll down here, that's text box one. So Celsius equals text box one dot text. Um, we then need to give a value to our Fahrenheit variable. So we can type in Fahrenheit equals text box two dot text. Okay, which is the text box for for Fahrenheit. Okay, text box two. So once we've um, assigned a value to our two variables, Fahrenheit and Celsius, we only have the answer variable unused. Um, so then what we're going to write is an if statement. So if string um, then dot is null or empty, then in brackets text box one dot text and string dot is null or empty, um, brackets or parentheses, text box two dot text, then we want to do something, right? Uh, and we're going to end that if. Um, so if, okay, text box one is empty and text box two is empty, so both text boxes are empty, then we want to do something. If both text boxes are empty, we can't really do any converting because we don't have any values to work with. Um, so we're going to display an error message um, if that happens. So to display that error message, we're going to type in um, msg box. That stands for message box. Uh, then two parentheses. In those parentheses, we're going to have some quotation marks. Uh, and in that will be our, our message to the user. So for example, please enter a value into either the Celsius or Fahrenheit box, okay? So that'll be our message to the user. Um, then we're going to um, place a comma, space. Then we're going to type in VB critical, okay? Uh, and what that means is that's just the type of message box. So there are a couple of different um, types of message box you can work with here. If we just go back and type VB, uh, you can see here 
we have our list of different um, options, VB abort, VB abort, retry, ignore, uh, VB um, cancel, VB critical, uh, and there are a couple of different ones to work with in this list. Um, we're going to use VB critical um, because that'll display sort of an error message type box, okay? And there'll be like a little um, icon and uh, it'll be very error message like, okay? Um, you can play around with that though and change the type of message box and change what buttons are displayed in that message box, uh, stuff like that. Then we're going to do another comma. Um, two more quotation marks, and then we're just going to type in error. Now, um, what goes in these quotation marks is the title of our of our message box. So, along the blue bar at the top of um, every window, you have a title, uh, and our title is going to be error for that message box. We're then going to go on to a new line, um, and we're going to type in else. And in this big else statement here, we're going to have two if statements. So if string is null or empty, text box to dot text. Okay. Then do something, right? So if text box to dot text is empty, we need to do something textbox2.text is the text box for Fahrenheit. So that means we're going to convert the Fahrenheit. Uh, no, that means we're going to convert the Celsius value to Fahrenheit because only the Fahrenheit box is empty. So we're going from Celsius to Fahrenheit, uh, if that makes sense. So it's the opposite to what's empty. Um, so we would do answer equals Um, Celsius, then a little star. Uh, and in Visual Basic, a star means to times or multiply. Um, then nine, uh, then a forward slash, which means to divide, then five, uh, and then just plus 32. What that is, is that is our conversion formula to get from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, we're then going to say the text box 2 dot text, which was our empty text box, um, now equals our answer uh, in integer form. So it'll be the rounded off answer um, rounded to a whole number because an integer is any counting number. Okay, so there will be no like decimal. It'll be a rounded whole number. Um, after that if statement, we're going to do another if statement directly underneath or within this massive else statement. Um, so again, if string is null or empty, um, text box one dot text, because we're going the other way from Fahrenheit to Celsius, um, then we want to do something. Um, so answer. For this one, we'll equal um, pr two parentheses Fahrenheit minus thirty-two times five over nine, and all that is is that's the um, mathematical formula to get from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, there's no real programming involved there. That is basically just simple mathematics. Um, then we want our empty text box, text box one dot text to equal um, the integer of answer. All right. So all this code here in these two if statements basically works out what needs to be calculated, whether we're calculating um, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then does the math behind it all and displays the answer. Okay, so that if we play our application, okay, we debug. Uh, if I leave both these boxes blank and press convert, we get this error message, right? Error. Mm -hmm. That's our title. 
we have this fancy little icon here because we chose it to be VB critical. Um, please enter a value into either the Celsius or Fahrenheit box. Okay. Um, let's enter a value into the Celsius box. Okay. We want, um, say, 100 degrees Celsius. We press convert. We get 212 degree, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if we do 30 degrees Celsius, okay, if we get 30 degrees Celsius, we press convert, we get 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if we did 30 degrees Fahrenheit, we get minus 2 degrees Celsius. If we did 100 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we get 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it converts, but we have to manually um, remove our numbers from the boxes to start a new conversion. We're going to add now quickly a new feature um, that will sort of automate the process and reset um, the values in the boxes here. So when we do a conversion, say 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we press convert, uh, there'll be a button that will reset it and make those two blank so we can do another conversion instead of going in and manually backspacing um, both those values. So we're just going to pause it. Um, we're going to go to our form design and we're just going to go to our toolbox and add a button. Just going to bring it up next to our convert button. In our properties we're going to go to text. Um, we're going to call it uh, we're going to say that the text on it is reset, so this will be our reset button. Okay, double click our reset button here, uh, and we get the code for our reset button. Um, and the code that we're going to write um, resets the whole form, uh, so that the values in both text boxes are blank. So we're going to write text box one dot text equals uh, vb null char stands for character. And text box two dot text equals VB null char. Again, that stands for character. Uh, we're going to debug, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of the reset button. So if we type in 120 degrees Fahrenheit, we press convert, we get 48 degrees Celsius. We press the reset button, both values are blank, and just to prove that they are empty, if we try and press convert we get our wonderful error message. Please enter a value into either the Celsius or Fahrenheit box. Um, so that's how we make a simple temperature converter uh, complete with you know, a reset button. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, um, or queries, please leave a comment below or send me a message on YouTube. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.